Assalamu alaikum, my name is Omar Shumas Riyaz, you are watching my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see that how we can simulate Gibbs reactor in Aspen IC. First of all, we will see that what is a Gibbs reactor. Gibbs reactor tells us about the equilibrium conversion for a chemical reaction at any temperature and pressure. So we are having a chemical reaction in which methanol is being converted to dimethyl ether and water. We will find equilibrium conversions of this reaction using Gibbs reactor in Aspen Heises at various temperatures and pressures. But one thing we will have to keep in mind that it is a vapor phase reaction. So we will start with our simulation. First of all, I will add my components. My components are methanol. dimethyl ether and water after this I will add my uh, property package or fluid package you can say I will add a unique react as my property package. After this, uh, for Gibbs reactor, you need not to give any reaction set or reactions. I will directly move to the simulation. But if you are simulating con uh, conversion reactor or equilibrium uh, reactor, you have to give the uh, uh, reaction set in the reactions uh, for simulation to happen. Uh, now here I will press this reactor and drag uh, Gibbs reactor onto my and main screen I after this I will double click on my Gibbs reactor I will specify my material streams so now I here I name as feed for vapor outlet I will write as V and for liquid I will write as L uh, this reaction is happening in vapor phase and you have to keep this thing in mind and uh, now if I specify this energy stream this reactor will operate in a isothermal manner but if I will uh, not specify my energy stream it will act as a adiabatic reactor uh, no need to give reactions I will directly move to the worksheet and here I will give us temperature as it is a vapor phase rea vapor phase reaction so you have to give temperature uh, that is above the uh, boiling point of methanol water and dimethyl ether so I will start simulating with my gas temperature as 100 degrees and pressure as 101 or you can say atmospheric temperature uh, mole flow I can give as 1 after this I will specify my molar uh, compositions uh, in my feed stream I was only having methanol so I will press 1 and then ok now you can see that uh, my simulation has been solved so now you can see that all the uh, product is in vapor phase no liquid and you can go to the composition and see so now you can see that here uh, after seeing this composition that you are um, in vapor phase you are having only 0 0.1 to uh, 32 moles of methanol and in the field you are having one so you can say that 88 percent of methanol is being converted to dimethyl ethanol and water so you can uh, in the worksheet or conditions uh, you can change the temperature and pressure uh, to get your or change equilibrium uh, composition so uh, I am uh, I had given a temperature as 250 and if you give pressure and 1400 so now again you can go to the composition and here you will see that uh, now the composition for uh, vapor phase have, has been changed and now uh, you can see that methanol conversion uh, has been uh, reduced uh, in the previous simulation uh, here uh, methanol was 0 0.12 but now you can see that more methanol is present in your vapor field so here uh, you can see that uh, by this you can uh, by varying the temperature here uh, here conditions so now if I will change my temperature and pressure to any other value it will give the equilibrium uh, conversion of this reaction at that temperature and pressure so uh, gives reactor uh, you can use to find the equilibrium conversions uh, for a chemical reaction uh, by using this gives reactor i hope you liked the video inshallah meet you in another video assalamu alaikum